How to assemble a double pump in cast iron. Clockwise rotation. From two single pumps, PG331 clockwise rotation, we will realize a double pump right-handed. To do this, you will need to reverse the rotation of the back pump. Take necessary material from the inventory. Two pumps, PG331 clockwise rotation. A rear cover, PG331 in cast iron. A drive shaft of the same displacement. The assembly kit, which contains the intermediate plate, the connecting sleeve, set of O-ring kit, two dowel pins, four tie rods cut to the right length. You take the front pump, locking it in the upright position. You remove the closing lid, unscrewing the four screws M10. This is the common aspiration hole. It is important that the two pumps are mounted so that these holes are perfectly aligned. You unscrew the four screws M14. Position the pins and intermediate plate, leaving open the common aspiration. Lubricate the sleeve and insert it into the groove. Now take the back pump and remove the back cover as you did for the front. Unscrew the four screws M14. Turn the pump, resting it on a clean and level surface. Remove the front flange. Be careful to keep the dowel pins. Attention, be careful when replacing the seals. Now change the rotation of the rear pump. Remove the truss plate, installing it to the left of the pump in the same position. Remove the drive shaft holding it downwards. Now remove the driven shaft, maintaining the plate in lower position. Move immediately to its new location. Then position the driven shaft in its position with the grooved end facing downwards. Replace the plate in its original position. Insert the spline. and place the back cover. Now the back pump is reversed. Apply a little grease on 3 OR. Before mounting the two pumps, it is a good idea to check once again the position of the common suction channel. Now you can assemble the two pumps. While holding up the rear pump, install the sleeve connector to the drive gear. Once engaged, place the pump carefully back on the front, turning it until you hear the engagement with the dowel pins. Now insert the four tie rods with the shorter threaded end side down. Screw the flange. Proceed to final tightening of the four tie rods to 180 Nm. 
newton meters. Lubricate the pump. Rotate the shaft in both directions to check for freedom of movement. The double pump PG331 clockwise is now ready.